Hey guys, Common Looker here with a weird game. Uh, I've already tested out the first two levels and it seems like an okay game. Uh, it's a little bit uh, wonky with the controls. You can turn these blocks around and if you press the space you change to your little hand symbol and you can actually pull things away from each other. The goal of the game is to pull everything away from everything. So let's start off with this blue thing. Here's a little bit of the wonky controls, the various arrows you have to use. And depending on um, where your angle is, some of the arrows may uh, be very close to each other or not be very close to each other. So let's let's get a better angle, something that will allow it for it to easily be pulled over here. And that's the first level, a very easy level. Uh, now let's look in here, and what we want is to have the uh, part right over here aligned like that, and then we can simply push that there. I'm not sure if that's aligned exactly. Looks like it might be a little bit... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. And then we can pull that out and pull that there. And now we're on to a level that I have yet to play. So let's see, what is this? This is a... Re always look for those pieces which hold the rest of the puzzle together. Move them. Okay, I'm sure that's a good piece of advice. So if we try to move this piece, you see that it's blocked with uh, the weird piece in the back. I'm sure. Let's see what the back has. And this piece itself is blocked. But it can be removed when I go like that. And now this guy who was uh, held by him can be opened. And now we have almost a different puzzle entirely. Except this one's easy. Just go like that. And there you go. All done with that level. Let's see what this level has to offer us. From now on, all messages will contain hints. Click on the eye icon to open them. We do not need hints. We are super intelligent. So let's see. This thing is uh, tied up between the blue and the gray. But can it go down? Let's see what happens when we try that. No, it cannot go down. There's some place that block. Here it is. This gray prevents it from going down. The gray is also uh, caught up in some things. So, let's see what we can do. Can we move the uh, the uh, thing up? And then we can move this up. Let's see what we can do. This is a terrible idea for a Let's Play, isn't it? Um, okay, so that's what's keeping the blue in from going up. Um, hmm. Is there something... Uh, no, it's not keeping it doing anything. That's keeping it from going sideways. I guess that's, what keep, that's what's keeping it from going this way. The upward is kept by this guy. So maybe we want to move him here. And then uh, we can move that guy up quite a bit. And after removing that guy up, let's see what we've opened up for ourselves. Well, we blocked a few things. Uh, that's useful, right? Um, what was, what's this guy being held by again? Not very much. This guy can now be moved uh, probably a bit more. In terms of the uh, horizontals, what I consider the horizontals. So, yep, he can be moved out of the way, and now the puzzle is simple because it's only two pieces. And there we go. All done with that level. Now, here's a weird looking level. Uh, let's see what the hell we're supposed to be doing here. Uh, looks like this thing can be just be pulled out immediately. Wow, that's kind of annoying and stupid. Um, is this the same way? No, this actually is connected to something. Uh, there you go, that's where it's connected. So, we need to move this in order to move that so let's do that nope there's also another piece that's connected to a bit we're gonna have to move uh, up that can't be moved up or down or am I just not using the correct angle it can be moved okay that gets rid of our green this is turning out to be a very easy level and now we can just get rid of these two pieces and get rid of that and we're done with that level that was pretty easy I don't know why it's uh, at this point in the game I guess it's still the beginning of the game though so we should expect easy levels it's hard to see if there's a hole in between the uh, blue here and the uh, red, or if it just continues the blue. So it's a bit annoying when it comes to puzzles like that. Maybe if there was a way I could put my mouse over them and they become a little bit more transparent. But the person who made this game will never see this, so why am I even bothering to suggest? Up here I could see there's a hole here, uh, so that's okay. Um, so he would be able to move that way if it wasn't for the red piece. Let's see how the red piece is. The red piece is the hole right over there, I can just barely see, which means that the uh, red piece can move a little bit up. Just barely. No? There's something else. Oh, this is also blocking it. 
Um, let's see. You can always just randomly pull things, but let's not do that. Uh, by the way, when it comes to the uh, moving this way and the, the actual moving the pieces, spacebar is what you use to switch between them, but the game tells you immediately, so it shouldn't be that confusing. Um, speaking of confusing, how do we do this one? Looks like the blue piece is the last piece we move because uh, it's tied up. It's tied up so well with the rest of them. It's completely uh, a, it's a complete loop. We can't move the red down, and we can't move anything sideways. Can't move this. What am I missing here? I'm missing something. I'm obviously missing something. Maybe if I play around a bit, I'll figure this out. You guys are yelling at me. Uh, turn the uh, green one that way. There's no. Oh yeah, there's a the bluish green one. Um. Aha! I have an idea. I can move that. Then I can move that. And then I can move that. And then I can move that. This is really annoying. But eventually, I have this set up like this. And is that good enough to remove this piece? No, not quite yet. Uh, move that. Huh. Let's see. Can't move, remove anything, can I? Except if I go like that, I still cannot remove the red. Why not? Looks like it's just because it just barely uh, clips. It's a bit annoying. Everything perfect. Uh, let's see if I can just barely move this. That's going to be... Oh, that actually works. Now we can just remove that, and everything's completed with that level. That was an obnoxious one, but we've learned a few lessons from that, so it's all good. I assume there's no piece that can just be taken out immediately. Really? Hold on a second. Let me look at the whole thing before I remove that. What is that even keeping in place? That is keeping in place, um... The top one. Is it keeping in place the bottom? Well, the top one's already in place. Both of the top and bottom up here are in place because of the red one. Just rem whoops, let's just remove that one piece already. And move on with this. We need to, uh... We can now move these back and forth quite a bit. Both of them. No, only the top one can be moved about quite easily. Um, this guy is held in place by a combination of, um the black and the red looks like but now he's free pretty much free so we can get rid of him and let's see what else we can get rid of uh... we can get rid of this guy it looks like we can get rid of uh... him soon enough let's actually turn this around so i can see what i'm doing and get rid of this guy get rid of that guy and we're pretty much done with that level uh... let's actually uh... whatever yeah let, let's let's see well, how many levels we've done? We already have almost. We finished the entire first seven. We have another seven, and then we have uh, six hardcore difficulty uh, puzzles to worry about in the future. So let's look forward to those. Those are going to be pretty fun, I'm sure. So here we don't even see what's going on here. All I see is a big mess. Um, this guy is. He looks like he has some leverage, except because of this guy he doesn't. Uh, let's see what. Can we move? Can we move anything? Um, this piece in the middle is a little bit obnoxious. Probably that's one of the last pieces we get to move. Or remove, rather. So that purple piece is connected uh, through there. The uh, This piece is pretty uh, movable. So let's see if we can uh, take advantage of its movability a bit. Cannot move that. So... We can move this back and forth, and by moving it over here, we can move, uh, no, we can't do that. So, there's something else blocking that. We need to, uh, maybe move this up. Can we do that? There's some, oh yeah, this is blocking it. This is the same piece, so we can't do that. Um, oh, we can move this, though, and that'll make things slightly better. Let's see if we can actually get that off the screen so it counts as, uh, removing a piece. Now we have this piece a little bit more free, but it's still stuck because it has a little uh, nick in it. So we can't really remove it until we remove this piece, for instance, which we can't do yet. Can we? We absolutely can, which means that this is an easy piece to remove as well. And uh, I think the whole thing is going to break down pretty easily from here. 
Uh, this guy can come off. This guy, uh, is a weird little weird. Let's see what this guy can do. This guy, he looks like he can come off. We'll get rid of him, and let's get rid of the purple guy. So that we have a weird little, uh, thing in this in the center left. And now we're all the way on to level 8, it looks like. And we have this mess to worry about. What on earth do we have to do with this? Let's see, uh, if there are any holes anywhere. What's this white? It's bizarre. Let's get rid of that immediately. And see what that does for us. Well, that opened up, uh, looks like nothing. But of course that's wrong. It opened up so many things. Let's see what it could have possibly opened. Um, that can move now because, uh, where is it? There's a hole in here, inside of the, uh, kind of, I guess, beige is the color? I don't know. So, now that we can move this piece quite a bit, see what we can do with that. Uh, looks like this guy can move more. No, he cannot. He is not any more free to move, thanks to that. Um, oh yeah, because he is connected all over the place. This guy is, um, what, what is he? He is part of this. And that piece cannot move anywhere, if memory serves me correctly. Yes. This piece is connected to the uh, yellow, and it also cannot be moved. So probably we need to do something clever with the yellow. It's probably why the uh, first piece removed was, oh, what is this? Then we cannot move this because something has become more rigid, has taken up some space that the yellow wanted to be able to occupy. Okay, let's see. If we can move the yellow just a little bit more, we can actually uh, get rid of some things. Oh, this is not good. Let's actually restart the level because I don't even know what I've done there. Let's uh, remove that white again. And... Uh, see what we can do. We can move this all the way there, right inside of that. What else can we do? This guy has gained nothing. Yeah, it looks like that's all that we can really do it thus far with what we have. Um, let's see what the solution is to this one. This one is apparently a tricky one. This is uh, only level 8 or something like that, so I can't wait until the uh, Hardcore difficulty levels come up where you just have thousands of pieces all over the place doing crazy things. Little snake piece here to uh, connect the entire thing. Can't even follow it. See if it's one piece or two. Something ridiculous like that. Let's um, look around though. It looks like um, <clears throat> what's keeping the yellow in is everything. Let's see if that moving that up can help. Uh, what, what was preventing it from moving up earlier? Let's see what happens if we try to move it up and down. Um, I can see a little bit of the shape now of this thing. It ha apparently is hollow in the center so that this guy can fit in there. And I, can't, I still can't exactly tell what was keeping him from moving up and down earlier. 